Mortal Kombat games are known to have some funny bugs and glitches since the very first installments released on arcade games. A popular example is the Babality glitch in MK2, which allows the player to proceed and attack the baby if the finisher is performed fast enough. Glitches in MK games continued throughout the installments that followed, and MK11 is no different. In this video, we will look at some of the funniest glitches in MK11, but before that, you should learn about Raid Shadow Legends. I know you might have heard about this game before, but there is a big reason for it. Raid is ranked as one of the best RPGs on the Google Play Store, and it's just been nominated as a finalist for Google Play's Best of 2019 User's Choice Award. Just like Mortal Kombat, Raid has many different types of characters and the list keeps getting bigger and bigger as there are at least 14 new fighters that are added every month for you to choose from. As you complete the missions and make progress in your journey, you'll be able to get new rewards, discover new places and unlock one of the best champions in the game, the Arbiter. There's also this cool roadmap that they've recently released, so as you can see, there's always new gameplay features that are added with every update. So what are you waiting for? Download the game by clicking the link provided in the description below and you'll get 100,000 silver coins, 2 clan boss keys, 10 mystery shards and a rare epic champion known as the Executioner. You'll be able to find all these exclusive rewards on the top right corner of the screen and as soon as you collect them, you'll be pretty much ready to kick ass in your epic journey. Probably one of the funniest glitches that were discovered soon after the release of the game is what is called the finish him glitch. As you know, after you defeat your opponent, these words appear on screen encouraging you to finish off the other player. But sometimes, the words finish him do not disappear as they're supposed to, leaving you to perform your favorite character's victory pose with the words still on screen and I have to say, it looks pretty damn badass. The second glitch that was also discovered earlier on has to do with Sub-Zero's random invisibility. Now as you know, Sub-Zero is notorious for having glitches associated with him in past games and the case seems to be no different in recent ones. During match, Sub-Zero can actually turn invisible when using the cold shoulder special move but of course there are specific conditions you have to fulfill for this to happen. First, Sub-Zero must have access to his end of the round Ice Clone Taunt and win the first round. When this happens, Sub-Zero disappears briefly before appearing further away, which most likely kickstarts the whole invisibility bug. When the second round begins, it's only a matter of performing the cold shoulder special move and the attack doesn't even have to connect with the opponent for the glitch to be activated. The only way to stop that bug is to connect a hit on Sub-Zero and he'll turn visible back again. The third glitch is something that I'm sure you've heard about in the past and many players including myself exploited it. I'm talking about of course the head chest glitch available at the crypt. Supposedly, to unlock the head chest in the warrior shrine area of the crypt, you must execute 50 fatalities in the towers of time on the character whose chest you want to unlock. But somehow, certain players discovered that if you enter the crypt and then press X on the PS4 or A on the Xbox One without letting go of that button, you can approach any chest you wanna open and voila, the chest will unlock and everything inside is yours without having to perform a single finisher on any character. Now in order to repeat the same process for the other chests, all you have to do is just go back to the main menu and repeat the same steps mentioned before over and over again. And since we are in the topic of glitches in the crypt mode, there is another notorious bug that would allow you to unlock any item as long as it is close to a soul fragment chest. What you need to do is press X and while you're pressing, just quickly look at the item that you want to open and there you have it, item unlocked. Now glitches in MK11 don't only occur during gameplay, but also during finishers. For instance, when Kitana's deadly lips brutality is performed on Jax, the character will explode but his mechanical arms will remain stuck in the air. In addition, when the collector performs his first fatality, at times when ripping the opponent to shreds, his secondary arms do not move making it as if the opponent is being shredded by nothing. 
Even intro dialogues are not saved from glitches either. When selecting Liu Kang up against himself for instance, at times they just remain silent while staring at each other when they are clearly supposed to say something. Finally, I saved the most notorious glitch for last because it was exploited countless times and frustrated many players in the process. I'm talking about of course the forfeit glitch. This exploit gives players a chance to turn a loss into a victory during an online game by stalling out the match, preventing the opponent from moving on to other matches. Hence, in that scenario the victim is left with only two options, they can either forfeit despite winning the match or wait in the hopes that the exploiter would give up. As you may have expected, many players got very mad at the Netherrealm studios and you can even see some rants from big streamers here on YouTube. Of course, all the glitches that were mentioned in this video have been mostly fixed and are pretty much impossible to reproduce unless of course you download an older version of the game which you can do but won't be able to play online. There's also several other minor glitches that have been discovered but I don't want this video to be too long either. In any case, before ending this video, I would like to give special shout out to Ultimate Killer Combat X for helping me find glitches to include in this video. As usual, for more, make sure to like and subscribe to Gamelution.